Welcome to Open House with Jerry Cornell, where we feature people, places, and things that are in the news or who should be in the news. And today, our program is all about insect farming. Alam nyo ba yon, na insect farming? You know, a lot of people have been saying that uh, the future of the food industry is in insects. At ang mga insecto po, uh, they are not only uh, useful to human beings, but they are useful and very essential to the existence of our planet. Kanya po ka-importante ang mga insecto. And we have with us now a faculty member of the University of Santo Tomas. He's been with us before. And uh, he is currently working on experimenting and uh, fine-tuning insect farming for animal feeds. Yes. Okay. Neil, welcome again. Thank you. Okay, uh, Neil, Jerry. explain mo nga muna itong what is the what is this concept called insect farming? Well, this is uh, one way of turning uh, food waste mm -hmm. into something that is edible for both humans and animals. Um, uh, entomophagy or eating insects is not new. Uh, mm -hmm. It's uh, some Filipinos uh, eat insects. Oh, oh. Many Asians eat insects. Oh. Um, this one, this particular insect, uh, eats food waste. Okay. And then um, they they can eat a lot of it um, with 24% uh, efficiency, meaning uh, 100 tons of food waste mm -hmm. can be converted into only 5 tons of uh, organic fertilizer and about 10 tons of dried animal feed, which can replace um, the traditional fish meal. So. Uh, it's a sustainable form of of producing human food from waste. So you solve two problems: one, uh, you remove the waste from from uh, from our environment, and then two, you sustain uh, human uh, food supply. Okay, bago tayo magpatuloy, uh, Neil, can we run that video? On uh, we have a video showing. Uh, Ano ba itong video natin? Animal feeds ba ito on uh, uh, this, this module? Uh, um, it's ano aquaponics tawag? po. Using, Aqua uh, ah. yes. Okay, so uh, can you, uh, wala, wala daw? Alright, maybe you can, uh, okay, we'll uh, pakihanap lang. No? I mean, I think it's just somewhere there in the in our in our files. Yung binigay kong USB, nandun yata yan. For sure, nandun yan. So just look for it. There's a video on insect farming. But, uh, okay, but in, in any case, mamaya papakita natin yun, Neil, no? Ngayon, uh, when you talk about insect farming, is this something that uh, is going on? Is this something that uh, marami na bang gumagawa nito or nagsisimula pa lang? Um, globally, there are four major entities that have started uh, uh, large-scale uh, operations of turning food waste into uh, animal feeds. Mm -hmm. Uh, we ha uh, there's two in North America. Uh, one just started breaking ground in Europe, and another one in Africa. Okay, ano ito talagang on a large uh, large scale to? Um, from 100 tons of food waste oh. and uh, and up. 100 tons. Yes. So sir. ano yan? Uh, at one ton is 2,000 pounds. Tama? Uh, something like that. Oh, oh. So, an anong, anong magagawa ni itong 100 tons na ito? At saan nila kinukuha ito? Um, usually, uh, pre, um, pre-consumer food waste. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yung mga pinagtabasa ng prutas, okay. gulay, bago ilagay sa shelves ng supermarkets. Mm -hmm. that, that's already removed from, from the, the produce. And another is um, the post-consumer food waste. So, domestic food waste uh, galing sa kitchens natin, this con constitutes um, 50 to 60 percent of all the garbage in, in uh, any major cities around the world. 50 to 60 percent comes from mga food... Uh, Kitchen waste po. Ah, okay. Ito yung mga, ito yung mga biodegradable. Ito yes, yung mga sir. organic. Yes, sir. Organic. Okay, hindi pa kasama rito yung mga plastic, mga ganun, wala pa yan. Yes, sir. 50 percent, ha? Sa bagay, no? I mean, in any household, kahit dun sa amin, meron kaming hiwalay na basura sa mga nabubulok at hindi nabubulok. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we always, uh, uh, but we don't have any need for it. Sinesegregate lang natin yun because nasa batas yan. Collection. Diba? Uh, nasa batas yan. But, uh, 
Now, is this, can this thing be done uh, by households or should this be done on a large scale? This can be done by households. Um, oh. There's a um, there's what we call a biopod mm -hmm. or uh, actually para lang siyang uh, isang timba, mm -hmm. merong slant and then merong uh, hole sa taas. Or in when the insects after eating the waste, they become mature, they will uh, climb out of the the biopod and then they will drop into a receptacle uh, mm -hmm. where they could mature into to their uh, flying state. Okay. of flying part of their life cycle. So, um, it actually uh, uh, removes the need for disposing organic waste because okay. um, they can turn down, let's say, uh, a household produces five kilos of food waste every, every week. Okay. So, the twen uh, it comes down to 20% of a dry, uh, crumbly uh, parang soil. Mm. Uh, so one drum, about uh, two feet in diameter, uh, could essentially uh, solve our race problems if it can be implemented on a uh, metro-wide scale. Okay. Ngayon, Neil, uh, ano mangyayari dito pag nag-mature na ito mga insect na ito? Uh, well, uh, they do a lot of love. They ano just, uh, they just uh, exist as, as mature uh -huh. insects just for the sake of reproduction. Ah, okay. So, mag-uumbagsisimula ka rito with these insects. Apo. Papakainin mo nito mga food waste, mga tira-tira. Tapos, magmamature sila. They go into a funnel. They get into a certain container. So, uh, saan ka kumukuha nito mga insect na ito? Anong klaseng insect na ito? They're actually native species of insects. But uh, they have a global distribution. Um, uh, in, in our place in um, in Marikina, uh, somewhere along Antipolo side na, mm -hmm. uh, there's a diversity of insects. And I was able to capture a few females where uh -huh. uh, they they laid eggs uh, on, on, on a uh, receptacle. And from there, I'm, I'm now breeding them so that I can produce uh, at, uh, at least 100,000 eggs every time. Okay. By the way, Mamaya Neil, tandaan mo, ha? we're going to uh, give them, can you give them one of your a number, a contact Apo. number, para maka-advise ka naman kung anong klaseng insect. Kasi ngayon, naniisip ko, sige ba, maganda yan. At saka parang doable, sabi mo, two feet in diameter lang yes, yung, yung receptacle. Now, I mean, uh, I think eh, almost any household can do that, or the majority of the households can do that. Ang importante nito, anong klaseng insect? At saka isa pa, kuminsan, sa mga basurahan natin, Lalo na pag hindi na didispose properly or hindi na didispose regularly, nagkakaroon ng mga magot. Yes. Yung ba yun? Um, no. O iba uh, yun? Usually, the magots are houseflies. Ah. But this one, um, they look like magots uh, during their early days. Mm -hmm. But uh, as they grow bigger, they're bigger than maggots. Okay. They're like... Uh, um, the larva are like uh, maggots on steroid. <laughs> Malalaki sila. Okay, okay. And um, the thing is, when they grow on, on garbage, especially in large numbers, mm -hmm. they can uh, outcompete the house flies, the blow flies, the bottle flies, which, uh, which spread diseases. Okay. Because uh, once they're eating the waste, they generate so much heat. Okay. Which, and certain substances which uh, prevents the... Uh, uh, outcompetes mm. other fly species. So, uh, they can virtually eliminate house flies in garbage. Ah, okay. Hindi naman sila disease carriers. Ito ito. Uh, that's another thing po. Oh. House flies, they can fly from waste to food. Okay. But uh, the black soldier fly... Yun ang tawag doon? Yes, black sir. Black soldier fly. Yes, sir. Meron bang ano yun? Meron bang Tagalog? Scientific or, name. Or, hindi, hindi scientific. Yung um, common, common name, name. Uh, sa Tagalog o sa kung ano man dialect. Uh, Black I'm, soldier fly. Uh, yes, uh, I'm not sure if there is any uh, uh, local name, mm -hmm. pero they look like putakte. Ah. Mapagkakamalo mo siyang putakte. Okay, pero may wings to. Uh, yes, uh, meron siyang a pair of wings. Ngayon, mamaya sa second segment natin, magpapakita tayo ng mga video and mga pictures of what this is all about. Pero, anong gina, hindi ba... Would it come to a point na masyadong marami ng 
malaki ng population nito, sila mismo nagiging peste, hindi naman? I, they're, they're never a first po. Uh, ah, okay. Um, yes. um, if they get, get so many, they will attract uh, lizards. Ah, okay. So, they'll be a food for other animals. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, so they are not known as disease carriers. Yes. They don't fly into houses. Ah, okay. They don't like enclosed uh, spaces. So, so anong gagawin mo sa kanila pag mature na sila at meron na silang mga pakpak? They can be harvested, uh, washed, uh, processed, boiled, and then dried. Uh -huh. And then uh, they can be uh, ground in, and then incorporated into animal feed. Ayon. What kind of animals would uh, uh, profit from this? From aquaculture, any kind of fish. Okay. Uh, chicken, hogs, ah, even livestock. Livestock. Ah, pwede yan, ha? Okay, so napaka-importante nito. Siguro pag, uh, well, if you have a fish pen, you know, if you have a fish pond, or if you are a farmer, meron kayong piggery, meron kayong dairy farm, this would be, uh, this would be something that... Uh, you should think about and should discuss. Now, if you uh, stay with us until uh, later, and we'll be giving you the contact numbers of uh, Mr. Neil Lumanlan. Para ganon, pag meron, kailangan nyo naman ng advice on, uh, uh, I'm sure he'll accommodate you. Pero mag-text lang kayo, huwag naman kayong tatawag. <laughs> okay, so, insect farming is the way to go. And ito ba mga ito nakakain ng tao? Hindi. They're actually... Uh making gourmet uh, preparations out of the larva now in Europe. Really? In US. Uh -oh. They they uh, according to the to the guys who are doing this, uh -oh. the gourmet uh, chefs, um, it tastes like nuts. Okay. A little bit nutty. Ah, okay. And um, nutritionally, it's 40% protein. Okay. And uh, about 39% uh, essential fatty acids including a uh, very high concentration of lauric acid, which is found uh, the active uh, component of virgin coconut yes, oil, BCO. Oh. and omega-3 fatty acids. So when animals eat them, they become. Um, it's like a, it has a probiotic effect. Ah, okay. So pati tao rin ganun ang effect. Uh, I could. So much kasi lulutuin eh. I could assume that uh -huh. if humans eat this, um, uh -huh. kasi uh, the effects on animals is it they reduce mortality in young animals. Wow, all right, okay. So in fish, uh, if you have 50% 50, 50 mortality as a uh, usual uh, of fingerlings, it, it, it's reduced to about uh, 5% na lang. Okay. Ngayon, wala bang ibang klaseng insect magagamit dito, kundi the black, uh, what do you call it? The, the fly, anong, anong pangalan? There are other insects. Oh, what do you call it? The black soldier fly. Black soldier fly. Aside from the black soldier fly, Ano pang pwedeng gamitin na insekto? Um, there are crickets. Ah, alright. There are... Um, Pero would, would crickets eat, uh, eat uh, ito mga food waste? Um, yes, uh, there's one kind of cricket. There are lots of crickets. Oh, uh, there are lots of insects that, that pwedeng utilize dito. Yes, yes. Okay, we'll be back. Pagbalik po natin, we will be uh, showing you a video of how it's done. And in this video, is this a complete process? From, uh, nakita ko yung may lalagyan, uh, it, looked, it was outdoors. Does it show the whole thing? Yes, sir. Um, okay, the whole cycle? Not the whole cycle, but a, a portion where you can see the, 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 the mature larva uh -huh. going out. Ah, okay. So with that, we're talking about insect farming, and we're talking about uh, food for livestock, even food for people. Okay, and hindi na futuristic ito, it's already happening now. With Mr. Neil Lumanlan, faculty member of the University of Santo Tomas. I'm Jerry Cornell. This is Open House, and we'll be back right after this. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Open House with Jerry Cornejo, where we feature people, places, and things that are in the news or should be in the news. And this program and other programs on GNN Global News Network airs on Channel 8 in Destiny Cable TV. On GSAT, it's Channel 1, and on Sky, it's on 213. And we air nationwide and in seven Asian countries. And ang feature po natin ngayon is about insect farming. And we have with us someone who does insect farming himself, Mr. Neil Ian Lumanlan, faculty member of the University of Santo Tomas. But before we discuss this again, we'd like to show you on vid a video of exactly what we're talking about. Can you please roll the video? Insect farming. 
here we're looking at the black soldier fry larvae being produced for our fish food. And we're looking in front of us here at a biopod, which is a commercially made product that we can breed our black soldier fly larvae in. And we'll just come and have a close up shot and I'll lift the lid. And we can see what's happening in here. The black soldier larvae are busily consuming all the household scraps we've put in there. And you can see the larvae close up there. And we can also see some of the mature larvae here that's now walking up this gangplank. And they will very conveniently drop down in the chute there for us. So they're self-harvesting. They do that because they're ready to go to the next stage of their development. Which is to go and find their way into the ground somewhere. And turn into a fly, into a mature fly. And at that stage they would then fly up into the trees somewhere and they would mate. The average life cycle of the fly itself is only about five to eight days. So they're not a problem around the home. You shouldn't get the idea that these flies will become a problem around the home because they're just not interested in going into your house and being a nuisance. All they're interested in is consuming vast amounts of vegetable matter. They're really good at converting vegetable matter into protein for your fish. Take a look now at the harvesting chute. We can see that there's this tube attached and the larvae have crawled up the inside of this ramp and they drop down in here and let's just take this out. You see Madam is hanging around here thinking she's going to get some food. And we'll take a look inside here. These larvae are all fresh and clean, believe it or not, and um, ready to be thrown to our fish. That's if the chooks leave any behind. Okay, we've got here some frozen black soldier fly larvae. Um, that we're about to feed to the fish and you can see they're quite hard. They're actually frozen. They don't look much different to what they did before we froze them. Um, you can see I'll break one here and um, you can see they're quite hard because they're frozen solid. So they're really good to feed the fish. Interestingly, uh, this black soldier fly larvae is about 42% protein and about 30% fat. So they're a really excellent fish food. And remember how we got them? So we used our kitchen scraps, our veggie scraps and recycled them via our compost bin and all that wonderful protein and, and goodness and vitamins and minerals that would have been lost perhaps is now recycled and now going to our fish. So with that, you have an idea kung ano pinapag-usapan ng ating guest, si uh, Mr. Neil. Okay, so as I was saying, uh, meron na tayong idea ngayon of our guest, Mr. Neil Lumanlan, faculty member of the U of uh, the University of Santo Tomas, talking about when insect farming. Ngayon, yung pinakita natin na video, yung ganung kalaki, anong, anong um, mapapakain nun? Anong, uh, I mean, uh, mukhang ilang kilo lang ang laman nun. Apo. So parang uh, <laughs> mga pet chickens mo lang mapapakain no, no pag gano'n yes, ang karami? Yes. Ha? yes, sir. Okay. So yung lumabas na gano'n, okay, so mga buhay yun. Apo. Alright. Now, where is the, where is the stuff that uh, can become fertilizer? Yun din yun. Um, after they've eaten yung vegetable oh. matter po, uh, they, they kind of turn black. Okay. Or brown, depending on ano. When they, uh, because of the body heat of the so many larva okay. eating the waste, they they dry up. Ah, okay. So they they evaporate most of the moisture and vegetable matter is mostly water. Yes. And then um, that can be collected, emptied may, maybe once, twice a year. Mm -hmm. But uh, based on those who use the the biopod, uh, they actually don't empty it. Okay. So it's a very efficient system. So, but if you have a vegetable garden or or potted plants in in apartments or in your backyard, you can scoop that out every now and then. Uh, just don't put additional uh, fresh uh, waste. So you can scoop uh, uh, most of the 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 frass or the insect poop, mm -hmm. and then use that for your soil. I see. So yung pinakita niya at the end, yung pina, medyo pinapakain pa niya sa mga manok, is, uh, that's the end product already? Um, well, that's one of the first product. Okay. Uh, second product is the fertilizer. 
Nasaan yung fertilizer doon? Hindi pinakita? Ay, hindi po pinakita. Okay, okay. So, you have to dig up the uh, the material that remains. Ah, okay. Okay. So, just don't put uh, extra waste mm -hmm. when you want to get the fertilizer. All right. So, ngayon, anong advantages niya pag ginagawa mo sa bahay? Is it, is it something that you can... Yung sa'yo ba ginawa mo? Because meron, meron akong parang nakita ng picture na... Sarili mo ba yun? I mean, have you have you actually manufactured one of these for your own use? Actually, we I, I am in the process of of uh, building a um, mm. large scale uh, breeding facility. When you say large scale, um, a few hundred thousand eggs every day. Or? No, pero ganon kalaki yung large scale. Ah, yung, since yung, they are tiny, oh. uh, about the size of a um, of a um, maybe a horsefly. Okay. So you can house in a few, siguro one or two square meters, tapos vertical kasi yung pen niya. Okay. You can house uh, thousands in, in, in your backyard. Okay, so one or two square meters, pero ganong kataas yun? Uh, six feet, uh, ah. up to eight feet. And what, will we, what is the material made out of? Uh, para lang siyang chicken, chicken wire and um, um, the, yung fine screen mesh. Ah, okay. So, we're not talking about something that was shown in the video, iba ito. Ngayon ang yes, application sir. nga pala nito, I mean, listen very closely, I mean, if uh, there are any uh, farmers out there, di ba? Farmers or uh, whether you're farming fruits, vegetables, livestock, because nagiging fertilizer nga ito. Apo. Nagiging fertilizer. At uh, you can't get better than this. This is organic. This is renewable. And... Uh, Ngayon ang ano lang ang uh, tanong ko lang Neil again let's go back to this what kind of uh, insects can they use will they have to research on that because i'm sure sa other insects are more efficient hindi ba in doing this than in others like yung black uh, soldier soldier fly black soldier fly yan dump yan ba pinaka norm yan ba pinaka standard sa mga ganyang uri ng uh, ng insect farming as far as I have done uh, in my research, they're the only one that is industrially produced as of ah, now because okay. of so many uh, advantages. So you mean you can buy those? Uh, you can buy eggs or...? For, ha oh. excuse me. For hobbyists, um, they can order the black soldier fly larva online in, in, uh, in the United States. Wow, okay. Tantayin nyo yun, uh, black soldier fly. Uh, yeah, black soldier fly larva larva online so i research no and then and then is it ship sa atin dito yan pwede, uh, pwede ship uh -huh. uh, but that would be very costly ah okay plus medyo matagal sa customs okay ayun um so they're sold at about around mga 8 dollars per cup that would contain about 100 larva okay Eh ngayon, kung lo wala ba locally available niyan? Ikaw ba hindi, hindi pwede umorder through you? Right now po, we're, we're not yet selling. Ah, okay. Because we're, we're, we're building a uh, uh, breeding stock. Okay. So, our target is around February to March, we'll be producing about a few hundred thousand eggs per day. Okay. So, that, that would be, be raised in um, two by four feet uh, na... Uh, breeding pen mm -hmm. and uh, eating about a hundred kilos of food waste every day and then after they're f they, they grow fast two weeks you have harvest of of the larva you can dry them you can wash them you can boil them and then dry them Pero ngayon, I, I heard the uh, eight days lang pala ang, ano nito, ang lifespan of the adult of, of the, the adult okay all they do is uh, find a mate and mm -hmm. then lay about between 600 to 900 eggs. Okay. So that's only one female. Ngayon, mga ilan naman doon na magmamature? At least kalahate. Uh, they have a large, uh, very high um, uh, hatching rate. Ah, okay. So from 97 to 100%. Wow! Alright, 97 to 100%. Hatching rate. Okay. Ngayon, by the way, uh, if you want to inquire more about this, anong number mo, Neil? Uh, my number po is uh. 0922. 817-5340 Again, ulitin mo, 0922 0922-817-5340 Okay, you can ask, uh, they can uh, text, uh, you can text Neil, ask him for advice, di ba, on how to start this. Ngayon, 
Kung merong nagba-backyard farming, siguro yung pinakita natin na video, okay na yung size na yun sa kanya. Um, they can have larger, mm -hmm. larger uh, containers and lots of them. Ah, okay. The thing about farmers is if you're in vegetable uh, production, uh, the pre-consumer uh, waste yung tinatanggal yung mga uh, imperfections sa mga dahon, mm. like sa cabbages, and then yung mga ugat, yung mga stems, you can all throw them uh, in, in one, in one biopod, mm -hmm. and then um, raise your own uh, black soldier fly larva. Now, if you're in a poultry or piggery, they produce a lot of manure. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the black soldier fly larva, they love eating animal manure. And in the Philippines, we produce hundreds of tons of pig manure every day. And where does it go? Sa ilog. Tinatapon laban ng mga piggery yun? That's the, ano po, the sad uh, truth. Okay. So it pollutes uh, bodies of waters. Now, is there, do you know of any uh, institution or, or any individual or farmer na gumagawa na nitong insect farming specifically for uh, animal feed? As far as I've done sa research, um, mm -hmm. I've seen yung, at the scale of the backyard, mm -hmm. there are a few hobbies, but not on, on, on a uh, large industrial scale. Ah, okay, hobbies. Marami po. So, mas advanced yun sa ginagawa mo? Or, kasi um, parang nasa experimental stage ka pa? Or hindi naman? No, nasa breeding stage na ah, po. Ah, nasa po. breeding ka na. So, producing millions. Uh, that's our target. Uh, okay. So, we can um, cater to waste management. Okay. Now, for instance, Neil, there's a, there's a farm owner na interesado rito. Kung tawagan ka ba nila, makaka-manufacture ka o makaka-produce ka on a commercial or industrial scale for them, can you, would you be able to do this? Yes. Like, Neil, meron akong kung ilan hektarya dito, meron akong so many heads of uh, pigs, meron akong piggery. I'm interested in what you're saying. Can you build one for us? You'll be able to do that? I can supply the eggs. You can supply the eggs? No, pero... And then you can advise them on how to build this, uh, this pod or this... Ano ba tawag uh, yes, yung, yung, Pag malaki na, hindi na siguro pod ang tawag doon. Um, pag malalaki na po na uh, industrial scale, uh -huh. they're raised in flatbeds. Ah, okay. And then okay. which can be stacked uh, five, five layers. I see. Uh, but about one square meter each. So, pwede ka maging consultant, in other words. Okay, so, whether you yourself are the farmer or you yourself, uh, you know, pag meron kayong kakilala who is on uh, large-scale farming, you know, especially kasi the larger scale farmers would be the one who will profit most from this. Kasi one of their uh, biggest expense would be animal feeds. Kung meron kayong livestock, meron kayong uh, piggery, meron kayong uh, fish pond, and then also, ganun din sa mga farmers, di ba? Yes, sir. I mean, kung backyard, backyard ka lang, pwede as a hobby. But uh, can you imagine the hundreds of thousands, if not millions, that you will be saving and at the same time you're saving the earth, at the same time you're producing better products if you get into large-scale industrial insect farming. Yes, sir. Mamaya, pwede ba natin pag-usapan ng uh, insect farming for home consumption? Wala uh, pa tayo, Ron. For waste management po. Uh, waste management pa lang tayo. Okay. Pero kung gusto nyo nang uh, kumain ng insekto, lalo na sa Pampanga, hindi ba? Yes, sir. Uh, Pampanga, sa Central Luzon. I mean, uh, palibasa, it's uh, maraming uh, mga cor rice and corn doon. Marami sila mga crickets. Crickets and grasshoppers. Grasshoppers. Ayan. Alright, so, we'll be back with the topic of insect far farming with... Uh, Neil Lumanlan, a professor, uh, a faculty member of the University of Santo Tomas. This is Open House with Jerry Cornell. We'll be back right after this. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Open House with Jerry Cornell, where we feature people, places, and things that are in the news or who should be in the news. And pinapag-usapan po natin dito. Something as of now, a little bit esoteric, but it's worldwide insect farming and we have with us a faculty member of the university of santo tomasi mr neil lumanlan okay neil again 
mag recap tayo. Insect farming can be done on a backyard scale or on an industrial scale. At ang purpose nito is for waste management. Waste management. Pero hindi lang waste management because may ang end product nito would be animal feeds. Yes, sir. And fertilizers. And fertilizer. Okay, so uh, you have any idea kung anong percentage ang masisave ng uh, isang farm um, when it comes to producing this? If uh, usually um, a chicken house would have 40,000 um, birds okay. or chicks. And they have uh, certain... Malaki na nga, malaking chicken farm yun. Uh, that's, that's one uh, yeah, regular chicken farm. Okay. And um, they would have a certain amount of food way, uh, manure. Okay. So usually per, per bird, um, they allocate three kilograms of feed. All right. And, and then, um, so three times 40,000, that would amount to how many? 120 uh, tons of, of feed, and a certain percentage of that becomes manure. And uh, a high composition of the manure would, would still be indigested food or undigested food. So that could be converted into a certain amount of larva to, that can replace fish meal. So okay. th that, the thing here is y you were able to manage the, uh, the farm waste okay. and then create a higher value product that could um, help reduce pressure on our ocean fisheries. Uh, uh, with, uh, right now, people are in Paris talking about climate change. Yes and over harvesting of, of fish. Now, El Nino um, phenomenon plus over harvesting of, of anchovies in, 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 in the Northwest Pacific. Um, so there's a, uh, there's a current state of over harvesting and, or depletion of fish stock. So it affects all the animals up the food chain. Mm -hmm. So. Um, this could reduce uh, the unsustainable um, uh, farming uh, practices of using fish from the sea to feed poultry and pigs and even cattle. Pero hindi naman hindi pa ginagawa ng mga poultry ngayon because I I know I've seen I've seen documentaries na yung mga big poultry farms they gather the the animal waste they gather the no from the birds they gather the manure tapos nilalagay sa sako sako so hindi ba gumagawa na sila ngayon ng you fertilizer sure? out of that? Yes, uh, they 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 make use of uh, chicken manure is a very good um, fertilizer for the soil. Okay. Uh, because uh, one, it is concentrated, unlike uh, hog manure. Um, but then there's still some food and energy value in in the uh, chicken waste. Um, most animals with with um, with a single uh, stomach are food are inefficient. Uh, 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 in con converting food into body weight. So a huge proportion of the manure is still undigested. So if you put it in the soil kagad, you lose that, that, that food value. Mm -hmm. So that, that energy value in, in the uh, manure. So uh, the wisest thing here is to be more efficient. So uh, feed it first to the to the black soldier fly and young manure yes okay and then you'll have less volume but uh, a, a fertilizer with a higher concentration of phosphorus nitrogen and potassium so about uh, three percent uh, nitrogen and then uh, two percent uh, phosphorus and then five percent of potassium which is good for for our vegetables by the way if uh, people are interested to see samples ng produkto ng sinasabi mong yung sarili mong insect farm, you'll be able to give them samples so they can have it analyzed. So to see if uh, saan nila magagamit or pwede nilang gawin yan? Mm, probably around March. March pa? Uh, with full production. Okay. Can we show the... Meron tayo mga pictures dito eh. Meron ba? We have uh, some pictures. And can you please annotate, Neil? Ano yan? Ano yan? Uh, this one is a 
um, composting bean uh, using uh, black soldier fly larva. In a matter of four to five hours, uh, freshly laid food uh, from, from a kitchen or a restaurant is, is finished. Four to five hours? Yes. Uh, that bean that's about one square meter will have about 100,000 uh, larva eating the garbage. All right. So uh, you have to feed them about four times a day. Okay. So, okay, go ahead. And because of this, hindi na ngamay yung basura. Ah. Kasi hindi na siya mabubulok eh. Kinain ng larva. So na una jan, first major advantage is waste management. Apo. Second major advance, I mean, uh, advantage is magkakaroon ka ng animal feed. Sa ano na una? Fertilizer or animal feed? Um, animal feed would Tapos be fertilizer. And fertilizer. Okay, I think we have uh, more pictures. May parang ako nakita mga cycle. Ano yan? Uh, ano yan, Neil? This Papi one is an industrial scale process of 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 gathering um, municipal solid waste. Okay. Can we can we enlarge this a bit? Uh, can we zoom in a bit para medyo mas malaki yung image? But anyway, go ahead, uh, Neil. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, pre-consumer uh, food waste pinagpilian ng mga gulay bago ilagay sa mga grocery. That's on the left of the screen. Apo, yung okay. feedstock okay. is uh, collected and then uh, processed to make uh, a kind of feed for the larva. Okay. So, from the hatchery, uh, thousands of eggs. They're so small that uh, one gram will contain a few hundred thousand. Eggs. Wow, all right. And then, you you put them together They in just... 14 days or 2 weeks, you have larva that can be harvested, processed into into animal feeds. Ayun, and then, right. uh, the fertilizer, since it's dry, it's crumbly, it's easily, it can be easily spread into vegetable uh, crops. So, pwede palang pet food, like on the right of the screen, yes, I they're see mixing it. fish food, chicken feed, pet food, and organic crop production. Yes, sir. So, Ang, uh, pero ngayon, traditionally, I mean, we're okay with this uh, video already. Ngayon, traditionally, ang pet food ba talaga merong insect? Wala. Um, this Parang is fish the ngayon, new ano? thing. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. uh, why? Because amongst the insects, mm. black soldier fly accumulates a high percentage of calcium and phosphorus in their, in their larva. Ah, okay. So, which is good for one um, bone growth of very young animals, your puppies, your cats or your fish, or even uh, your lizards. So, um, if you have exotic pets, like, excuse me, uh, meron kang gecko or mga tarantula, um, they supply a, a large amount of calcium for your animal's uh, health. Ah, all right. Okay. Aside from the lauric acids. Mm -hmm. So, itong, itong, uh, itong insect farming ba na ito? I mean, as you're saying, because... Uh, March ka pa makakasupply nito? Yes, sir. So, how long... Uh, but right now, you're already producing it. Kaya lang ko konti pa lang. Ganun ba? Not on industrial scale. I see. Is there anybody here in the country now that we can uh, purchase ito mga black uh, black soldier fly larva? Or... Um, I've searched the internet. Uh, I do not know anyone doing... Uh, what I'm doing right now. Okay. Eh, pa, paano yung mga iba nag insect farming na currently? Anong ginagamit Most nila? Most of insect? them are, are mostly um, uh, hobbies. Okay. So, they just put the, the larva on, on, on their fish tank. So, ah. so they, they don't have to buy uh, their feeds for, okay. their, for their arowana or oh. their goldfish or oh. their flower horn. Um, what I've seen uh, from other countries, uh, the fish are have better color. Oh, of course. Oh, oh. And and then they're pagkain, eh? they're bigger. Mm -hmm. And uh, arowana, which is a predator, mm -hmm. loves the this uh, live uh, larva. Oh, oh, they only eat live food. Pag hindi yeah. bigan ng uh, live food yan on a regular basis, it's going to die, no? Pero ngayon ang, ang tanong ano ito? Anong anong klaseng insect yung ginagamit ng mga yan? Um, I mean, aside, the same because black nakikita soldier. ko sa mga, ay, black soldier ba yung nakikita ko sa mga uh, pet shops that they sell na um, parang mga worms? That's ah? called uh, mealworms. Mealworms, okay. So yun, makakultivate din yun. Yes, uh, many people are doing this already. Uh, hmm? Mealworms, they're a species of beetles. 
Ah, okay. So the 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 worm, uh, which looks like a caterpillar with a uh, thick exoskeleton, um, is easy to raise on on corn. Ah. But it's not sustainable. Why? Because you produce corn to feed your your ah, your insect, oh, and then oh. before you feed the fish. So hindi sila ka, hindi sila kumakain ng food waste. Um, unless pinakay mo ng sirang tinapay or ah, breadcrumbs. Right. Okay, so to me, parang ang pinaka-critical dito, I mean, if I wanted to start it right away, is finding the right insect. Apo. Hindi ba? To breed. No? So, again, balik tayo doon. I mean, uh, mag-research kayo on what kind of insects, you know, are readily available here. Like, for instance, matagal siguro, ano ba ang pinaka-common insect? na hindi harmful ha, hindi ka mukha ng mga na mga, at saka matagal yata mag, uh, mga langa o mga ganyan, at saka mukhang Fruit flies oh. would be the fastest growing since they're tiny okay. and they have very short lifespan a matter of, of days, a week mm -hmm. within a week you'll have what, um, mature larva of fruit flies, but they're, they're so tiny mm -hmm. they're good for feeding a tiny fish ah okay um, but in terms of, of nutritional value, uh, black soldier fly is still the best because of its very high protein content. Okay, so, nakaisip ako na mga side business dito for you guys out there, for you entrepreneurs. Maybe if you don't want to get into insect farming, pwede kayo maging supplier ng black soldier fly larvae. Yes, sir. Diba? Or eggs. Well, how do you get it? Uh, ano bang, how do they sell this? Larva, larva na? Or, um, I suppose eggs. Um, they could get the larva probably uh, oh. when when the, when I have enough scale to, ah, okay. to supply uh, uh, distributors mm -hmm. or large scale farmers. Okay. Um, but I did this uh, surgery um, uh, with waste management first in mind. Mm -hmm. So, sa kalau na punta dito sa insects. Ah, I see. They're better than earthworms. Earthworms okay. sensitive. Uh, may kalamansi acid food. They die. Ah, alright. So, hindi lahat ng basurang kitchen pwedeng ilagay sa uh, mga earthworms? Vermiculture. Ah, alright. Uh, that's, oh. that's one of the reasons also probably, that's, uh, aside from uh, it's quite uh, a lot of work for most people to, to have earthworms at home, mm -hmm. is they're sensitive. Ito, buhusa mo ng alcohol, pure alcohol, they'll live for another two hours. Itong mga black soldier flies? Yes, sir. Buhusan okay. mo ng acid, oh. they'll, they'll still be uh, alive for the next two hours. Sino buha ka mo naman? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> okay. When, so, when, mm. when, uh, actually, it was an accident mm. when I discovered them in my kitchen. Sabi ko, Oy! Maggots! Mm. Binuhusan ko ng sun rocks. Mm. Buhay pa rin. And then I did some research. Beneficial insect pala siya. Ayun. Paano nakapasok yung black soldier fly sa kitchen mo? I forgot one of my experiments in my kitchen. Uh, it was a um, fermented rice. Mm -hmm. And then I got so busy for, for about two weeks. And then when I look back, oh my God, thousands of larva. Inside, black soldier fly, yeah. Inside the bottle na nakasara. Uh -huh. So pumasok sila dahil malilit pa sila. Mm -hmm. Lumaki sila, hindi na sila makalabas. Ayun. Okay, so with that, very, very interesting. Insect farming. Specifically, pwede niyong gawin to for waste management. Isa sa pinakamalaking problema ito eh. Yung mga ibang uh, bayan nga, ini-export yung mga basura nila eh, di ba? Or else, it's thrown out into the water system, it's thrown out into the rivers, it's thrown out into the sea, which is very harmful. So again, how do they get in touch with you, Neil, for advice? Or, ngayon, pag kontakin niyo si Neil, maybe you can... Get into Facebook, maybe you can get into yes. email, into, pero to contact Neil, to ask about insect farming, 09, go ahead. 0922-817-5340 on Facebook, neil.ian.12. Okay, so with that, maraming salamat Neil. Thank you very much for that. And I am sure without a doubt, maraming mga nakikinig dito ngayon who are already considering insect farming because more and more people now are uh, thinking green. Gusto nila mga uh, waste management, especially when you think green, the first thing is waste management muna. And uh, this will help our country a lot. No? And again, pag gusto niya man feeds, farmers get in touch with Neil. I'm Jerry Cornejo. Until next time then, thank you for staying with us for the past hour. 
Now, take care. Let's keep our planet green. Let's uh, manage our waste properly. Remember, pinaka-basic niyan, ihiwalay niyo mga nabubulok sa hindi nabubulok. Yun ang pinaka ngayon. Pwede pa kayong maghiwalay ng mga iba. Di ba? Yung mga recyclable, yung mga toxic. But the first thing, sana po, separate your garbage, yung mga nabubulok sa hindi nabubulok. With that, I'm Jerry Cornejo. Thank you very much. I love you. God bless you. Bye-bye.